Welcome to the Potter Blog site, August 13th, 2013. Uh, we recently broke the news that airborne H7N9 bird flu virus was making it past the face masks of hospital caregivers. Uh, today, two new fronts have opened up in the government's effort to figure out why this is occurring and how to stop it from occurring. Uh, the first thing is, is the CDC has stated that it needs Vanderbilt Medical Center's assistance in evaluating masks and for tracking the failure of masks to stop H7N9 in the upcoming pandemic. Uh, here's the uh, federal solicitation for that. Uh, here's the quote. They need contractor assistance. They specify Vanderbilt. And they're doing this to ensure the health and safety of healthcare workers during times of pandemic diseases. Uh, the second thing on the same front, the CDC has announced that it immediately needs more ferret cages. Uh, apparently they're being engaged in uh, mega ferret death. Uh, they specified a contractor saying this caging system is currently used in the branch, that's the CDC branch, for reduction of potential aerosol transmission of influenza virus uh, between the ferrets. Uh, here's that solicitation. And here's the key statement. This caging system is currently used in the branch for reduction of potential aerosol transmission of influenza between ferrets. So they're actively engaging in ferret megadeath to try to figure out how to reduce the airborne transmission uh, via masks and filtering of this virus. Now we broke the story initially uh, based on a, uh, an, an earlier, just a few days ago, uh, announcement for countermeasures for pandemic flu. Now this announcement was very interesting to us uh, because it specifically states in that announcement, we have a link to it here, uh, scroll down to it. Enter. There it is. And it specifically states in this announcement that due to the urgency of ongoing preparedness activities for avian A influenza A H79, available funding for awards in this solicitation may be limited, and that they're giving uh, uh, favoritism to submissions that directly address H seven N nine. There's a specific area of interest here, uh, the primary one personal protective equipment, masks and respirators for influenza and all hazards. Uh, what they're looking to do with this is to take uh, uh, masks that are still in the experimental R&D phase and bring them to market immediately. So that gives you some idea of the uh, urgency of what's going on here. If they're trying to pull masks out of, uh, I believe, uh, technology readiness level 6 uh, into production, try to defeat the airborne spread of AH7 and 9. So, when we look at this, and we look at the totality of it, and the government's other urgent massive preparations for H7N9, like they've just started to set up a 211 hotline uh, for people to call into the Poison Control Center with their own complaints of H7N9 so they can figure out how to triage these people before sending them to the hospital. So you look at the totality of this, and we consider it wise to look at buying uh, HEPA filters and P100 masks for use in the home as a quarantine measure because in essence that's what they're going to tell you to do on the 211 line when you call in saying hey I think I've got this flu virus they're going to tell you to quarantine yourself in your house until you're ready to die basically because there will be a limited number of uh, respirators available. Uh, the only people who have a chance of really surviving this are children so that's who you'll be quarantining and the children can survive this. Uh, but if you catch it from your children, you won't. So what you need to consider is a home HEPA filter and P100 masks. Uh, now, I've shown here in examples, Amazon examples of both a home HEPA filter and a P100 mask. These are just examples. Um, you need to make your own research on what to buy, but the key things to look for in a HEPA filter are that they filter a large room, a high cubic uh, flow rate, that they have an easy to remove filter because you're going to want to remove and throw away these filters and put in new ones. And lastly, uh, some of these HEPA filters have built-in germicidal UV lights that kill viruses and bacteria. Uh, it's questionable how well those operate at uh, high rates. But again, you'll have to research it yourself. Uh, the other thing to look for, P100 masks. That's really the designation you're wanting to look for, P100. Uh, Ideally, you want something with a good face seal. But again, these are just two examples. We're going to go into this much in much more detail in a later video.